granting the motion as to count six because it was not an effort attempted or otherwise by Mr. MacGyver to um, influence Mr. Crane to withhold information from any of the three of the triumvirate. Count seven fails for the same reason and an additional reason, meaning I grant the motion as to count seven. Really surprising day in court today. Two witness tampering charges in the Tex MacGyver trial dismissed by the judge today because he said prosecutors did not present enough evidence. But, and there's a huge but here, MacGyver is still facing murder for shooting and killing his wife, Diane. He says it was an accident. And today, the defense called a sleep expert to the stand to try to explain how Tex MacGyver could have accidentally fired the gun while sitting in the back seat of his SUV. Okay, what was your diagnosis? Uh, REM sleep behavior disorder. Being awakened when the gun went off, is that consistent or inconsistent with the confusional arousal? I think it's one explanation. It's consistent. And today, I was inside the courtroom with my legal dream team, defense attorney Daryl Cohn and prosecutor Latonia Hines, taking a look at some of the things that our cameras are not showing you, like the jury. I don't think I'm sure what just got out of the courthouse. What'd you think of the jury? First impressions. I thought they were engaged. I liked what they were watching, and I watched their body language. They all were very attentive. They're a lot younger than I would have anticipated in seeing them. And yes, they're definitely engaged. And then it was very interesting to have the judge even note that two of them always sit together. They get the option of being able to sit other places, but they sit together. Tex MacGyver is facing that jury. How much of an impact do you think that has on everything? The jury is facing Tex MacGyver, which is more important because they're watching his every move. They're watching his body language. He has no place to hide. He has no place to conceal himself. They're able to notice that he doesn't look sad, and that's bad for him. We got to see Tex MacGyver in person today. Anything surprise you about him? I thought that he would seem a little bit older, but he actually seemed kind of spry. He was moving around quite a bit. Didn't necessarily disappoint me, but surprised me. He looks like he's had work, meaning plastic surgery. He looked too good. In the gallery today, a lot of folks from Corey Industries there. What sort of impact are they going to have? That's where Diane worked. You can't really tell whose side they're really on because of the way that the courtroom's laid out. They're sitting in the middle, and the middle is behind the prosecution and behind the defense. For the most part, the jury's going to know they're from Corey Industries because one or two of them had testified, and they're still back here. So the jury's going to realize that Corey cares. What if Texas masseuse comes into that courtroom and takes the stand? What sort of impact is that going to have on this case? She was wearing a, uh, a pair of uh, rain boots. My uh, fiance and I had given uh, Diane for Christmas. Nobody cares about bringing the boots into the courtroom, but the, what they do care about is why are you wearing the boots a couple of days after this man killed his wife. I think that is interesting, but it's not good for the defense. It's going to have a major impact for the moment. If it was my client, I would have her not wear the boots. I would have the boots at the counsel table and have one of the lawyers walk them up and let her put them on for impact purposes. Who had a better day, prosecution or defense? Clearly the defense. They say when you snooze, you lose. But in my opinion, snoozing means the prosecution loses. I'm going to say defense because the judge ruled that two of the counts were going to be kicked out. But I'm going to go back to the prosecution. You want to know why? Because the snooze guy was a snooze, and it's a lose for Tex. You can catch up with all the big moments of the Tex MacGyver murder trial right now on 11alive.com. And don't forget to join me and my legal dream team live on Facebook every night where we answer your questions and read all your comments.